Robert Dyer, a Republican running at large for the county council. And for me, this is an important issue because long before I got involved in partisan politics, I actually started in, in working in the community as an advocate for the disabled. And I, I initially, I helped one person in my neighborhood who was confronting an issue of a a violation of the Americans with Disabilities Act and I went on from there to help other individuals one at a time and I just recently uh, there was a case at Damascus Elementary School where they have had several violations of the ADA and the, the interesting part was they had a special needs program there so I thought it was especially strange that we had that difficulty in that school. And so I talked to Mike Knapp and with the, the PTA up there, and uh, I just got an update last night that they have installed the elevator shaft, and they'll eventually have the elevator installed. They have a ramp from the outside, and but they still need a, uh, a ramp for an exit into the courtyard for disabled students. And so I hope that the council will look into that uh, either now or the next council to get that done as soon as possible. But uh, when I initially announced for office, one thing I pledged is that if elected, I will have one staff member who's going to focus just on disability issues because there's so many things that I see as priorities, just simple things like the county website that a lot of people were unable to participate in the community debate over what we'll do on the budget because they couldn't access the website, whether they were visually impaired. Uh, I know there were some comments about that at a town meeting. And I have many other concerns, such as transportation and accessibility to the new developments like Silver Spring and Bethesda Road, where the trend seems to be away from handicapped parking. And so I look forward to addressing your questions. Thank you.